Here to help us better understand the challenges posed by coronavirus is Dr. Ann Trung. Doctor, I really appreciate you coming on tonight. So this has been actually a pretty fast moving procedure. I mean, we just heard a couple weeks ago about this outbreak initially. Every day it seems like there's new numbers of an exponential rate of growth so far. So before we really get into it, can you really tell us what exactly coronavirus is? Well, coronavirus is actually in the same family as the common cold. So it, it, we, well, there are four, seven species of the common cold. So the common cold has, is four of them that we get every uh, fall. Another species of the coronavirus is SARS. That uh, was an outbreak in 2002, 2003. And then in 2012, another species of the coronavirus is MERS, M-E-R-S. That was in the Middle East. So the coronavirus is actually a new virus of the coronal family that has emerged from China. So it, it's in the family, it's the same as a common cold. And so what's concerning is that it's, it is the new virus. And initially it was thought to be transmitted from animals to human, but now is transmitted from human to human. Uh, and, uh, but, and, and the transmission is almost like the same mode as, uh, the common cold is through respiratory droplets. Like when you cough or sneeze, um, it's, uh, if you're near somebody that has, um, the coronavirus it's you know, you catch it from, you know, the sneeze or the cough and, and it gets transferred to the eyes, the nose and the mouth. So from my understanding, too, that's almost what makes it pretty dangerous is the fact that just as the common clue, common cold or the flu can be spread very easily just by simple contact or through even a air transmission. That's what kind of makes this uh, so dangerous is that it is very much so contagious and it is spreading very fast. I mean, we said earlier that the number seems to be exponentially increasing almost by the day. I mean, uh, the numbers coming out of China are pretty staggering. And I just have to say that whatever China admits to, you almost have to admit that it's a little bit worse. Than what they're kind of putting out there to begin with. Of course, there is kind of a the control thing yeah. that they're going down. They don't want a state of panic or anything. But I think also acknowledging the point that you just brought up about how contagious it is, how do we prevent it? I mean, we see, for example, people wearing masks. We see them taking different measures. We see the governments taking very drastic measures, such as the lockdown in Wuhan. How do you prevent the spread of this contagion? Well, uh, the first, you have to understand that uh, you have to understand that, you know, the, the spread of the, of the flu now is probably more worrisome than mm -hmm. the coronavirus. You only get the coronavirus if you're exposed to somebody who has a coronavirus. And we know that it started in Wuhan and uh, from people that travel to there or coming back. So and then on top of that, as of uh, January 29th, I received an email from the uh, uh, Virginia Department of Health. There's only five confirmed cases in the U.S. Right. And, and none in Virginia. And in the U.S., it's only four states, California, Arizona, Illinois, um, and, and Illinois, and Arizona, California. So, and um, yeah, so there's only five cases and no death. So there's a lot more death in China, and I think it's probably due to the severe respiratory disease. So you only have to worry about the coronavirus. It really an elderly patient hmm. who gets it and who already has an immunocompromised system, already have a weak uh, pulmonary uh, status. So if you are young and you're healthy and you're, you're fairly healthy, you get the coronavirus, most likely you get hospitalized, you, you get an isolation, and you get treatments such as IV and nutrition, you should be fine. Well, see, that's good to know. You're kind of talking me down a little bit because uh, after seeing what we've seen in the media over the past couple of days, I've been walking around with like huge goggles, the mask, everything you can possibly think of, uh, the sanitizer. I'm, I'm exaggerating right now, but it is being very yeah. much so played up in the media. So I appreciate you coming on tonight and kind of talking us down a little bit and understanding better about this coronavirus. Thank you very much, doctor.